I now request the distinguished delegate of Chile to make a statement. And on my own behalf, I congratulate you on your election as the President of 71st United Nations General Assembly. Let me also take this opportunity to thank Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for his services to the United Nations history's largest peace movement. Much has changed in the world around us, some for the better, some for the worse, and much which has been of great concern. There can be no better platform to ponder our actions and our achievements over the last year. We must remember that we will be defined not just by our actions, but equally by our inactions. Madam President, let me now turn to a subject of the most critical one which deeply concerns every member of this assembly. It is none other than terrorism. However, despite the blood and tears of innocent victims attacks this year alone in Kabul and Dhaka, Istanbul and Magdishu, Brussels and Bangkok, Paris, Pathankot and Uri, as well as the daily barbaric tragedies in Syria and Iraq, remind us that these malevolent forces are yet to be defeated. We must acknowledge that terrorism is undoubtedly the biggest violation of human rights. Terrorism is, in its broadest sense, the use of intentionally in indiscriminate violence in order to achieve a political, religious or ideological aim. It targets the innocent and kills indiscriminately. Terrorism has gone way beyond affecting individuals or nations. It's a crime against humanity itself. But it is very, very, very important question to ask who is behind these malevolent forces and who benefits from it. All of us know that terrorists do not own banks or weapons. So let us ask the real question, who finances these terrorists? Who arm them? Who provide them sanctuaries? We heard similar questions being asked by Afghanistan from this podium. Madam President, history proves that those who seed extremist ideologies reap a bitter harvest. The germ of evil has grown into a hydra-headed monster backed by technological sophistications that threatens the peace and harmony of our world. We will not be able to win against terrorism by making specious distinction between your problem and mine, between terrorists who attack you and who attack me. For we do not know who this Frankenstein's monster will devour next. Therefore, if we want to defeat terrorism, terrorism, there is only one way. That we unite across our differences and steal to our resolve and inject urgency in our response. We need to forget our prejudice and join hands together to script an effective strategy against terrorism. This is not an impossible task provided. We have the will, we can do it, and we must do it. Otherwise, our future generation will forever hold us to account. And if any nation refuses to join the global strategy, then we must isolate it. We must identify the nation that still speak the language of terrorism. Hoping the best, let me conclude my words. Thank you, thank you very much. I thank the distinguished delegate of Chile